The Ministry of National Security, Police High Command and the Young Professional Arm of the Jamaica Labour Party have questioned the report submitted by the public defender. Speaking on RGR's call-in program hotline on Thursday, the public defender explained the findings in her report. What we did was relied heavily on the reports coming out of the public health. Yes. As you know that I can't diagnose KDs <coughs> or, or a fungal rash. Right. So when you look at the submissions, those are dated and referred to specific reports coming right. out of the um, public health authority. However, Mrs. Harrison Henry insisted the conditions under which detainees are being held are a major concern. Emily, they are still being fed on $300 a day. Mm -hmm. um, I have not examined any kitchen because, I, you know, I hear about discussions about kitchen. I have not examined anybody's pots and pans or utensils. And I can tell you that um, the question of um, persons going to the facility after the date of the report, I, I find to be very disconcerting. As for her controversial claim that more than 100 children were being held in custody in St. James, Mrs. Harrison Henry sought to explain. At no time did I or the Office of the Public Defender say 102 children were in detention at any one time. Mm -hmm. If we read the report, if we understand the report, all that we said is that over the period of Hundred and five children had been taken into custody over the period. Mm -hmm. How is that translated into a hundred and five children at once. in in the lockup at one time? And and we are talking about a period also, Emily. We're over a shade under three thousand, close to four thousand. I don't even remember the figures right now. Came into custody over the mm -hmm. period of time. The children's advocate has challenged the finding and argued that half of the detainees classified as children by the public defender were actually adults. Shanice Brown, Frontline News.